Perseverance has arrived at the front of the delta in view of a layer of terrain the rover team has dubbed the Bacon Strip for obvious reasons. What's not obvious is whether it will be the best place to search for ancient Martian life on this episode of Mars Guy. After driving nearly five kilometers, about three miles, in one month, that's a mad dash for a Mars rover, Perseverance is now poised to finally begin the mission it was sent to Mars to do, sample rocks with the highest potential to preserve evidence of dead Martian microbes. The delta deposit of ancient Lake Jezero, or Jezero, was the reason this site was selected for Perseverance to explore. Unexpectedly, a mesa-dubbed Kodiak, an eroded remnant of the delta, showed textbook examples of the distinctive layers of rock produced in the delta building process. Now Perseverance has the closest look yet at Kodiak, and from nearly 90 degrees off the previous views, here's Mars Guy for scale. The sloping layers known as forset beds are beautifully displayed, although with an orientation that's unexpected, they appear to slope toward the main delta, not away from it. This will give the sedimentologist something to puzzle over. But Perseverance will not be heading to Kodiak Mesa. Instead, there's a prime location on the main delta deposit that looks more enticing in the search for ancient Martian life. On Earth, delta deposits are rich in organic matter from microorganisms that live both in the watershed of a river and in the river itself, but it's the mud deposits that are key for preserving that organic matter over geologic time, and it's under the deep, calm water of a lake where the best mud deposits can be found. That's where the bottom set beds form. As the delta builds, its sloping four set beds cover the bottom set beds, which over time can lead to lithification of the muddy bottom set beds. They turn to stone. That same scenario appears to have happened with the Jezero Delta. For the first time, Perseverance has now encountered thinly layered outcrops that indicate a similar process. These outcrops are a tempting target for sampling, but they're at the top of steep slopes, potentially a risky situation for the rover. Instead, there's an easier to reach exposure of possible mudstone that's evident in satellite images, the Bacon Strip, there are other less bacony examples in many places around the delta, and infrared remote sensing suggests that they have clay minerals in them, iron magnesium smectites, consistent with a mudstone scenario. Perseverance will have to first get past the sand ripples before it can drive onto the bacon strip. They're big, but not very tall, so probably safe to drive over, or maybe Perseverance can drive between them. The first order of business will be to use the instrument payload to confirm the presence of clay minerals. Then Perseverance can go after the big prize by using its instruments to look for organic matter. A sample of organic-rich mudstone returned to Earth could offer our best chance yet of finding evidence for life on Mars. <laughs>